Can you imagine experiencing Christmas for the first time? <laughs> so the Christmas tree is obviously the, the first step. That must be so magical. Because everything is back here in the corner. These are all of our outside lights. My future self would think me. Got these last year, right after we found out I was gonna have the baby. No, no, get away! <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We are putting up Christmas, starting to put up Christmas today. Don't know if I mentioned it when we went to go get our new faux Christmas tree, but our old Christmas tree that we've had for, I think it was like 2019, uh, was losing lights and it was shorter. And so I put it in the bay window where it kind of like drops down the ceiling uh, so that it didn't appear so short. Um, and this year I wanted to do it differently. I actually wanted to put a Christmas tree here. And this was where my desk was. So this morning, Romeo and I cleaned it off and cleaned this area so that we could relocate my desk somewhere. So we tried in the corner behind the couch and I don't think it's gonna work. I think what we're gonna have to end up doing is actually moving my desk upstairs to his office, replacing that smaller desk that's up there for now, because I do want to put my Christmas tree there. It's like, we knew that there wasn't another place for my desk. That's why it's been in that window for so long. Cause look how big that area is over there. When the house was staged, it was actually like a little breakfast nook. Now we didn't want that. Obviously we have a dining room and we, we don't need another table. We won't use it. So why have it there? So my desk was like perfect. Cause otherwise it would just become like a seating area. It could be that. So we need to figure out my desk situation, but I wanna get started like actually doing our Christmas tree and actually filming my Christmas holiday video for my, for my other channel. So the Christmas tree is obviously the, the first step and I have a lot of ideas for this space. Uh, so I wanna start working through them too and we will figure that out <laughs> later. morning guys it's the next day i worked last night getting the tree put up but i did not fluff it all it's gonna be a surprise it looks so good it looks so good i mean i'll show you a sneak peek <laughs> so good we're actually ready a little more than normal i'm wearing a dress and heels we're actually going to our best friend's baby shower uh so they're about to have a baby girl so the baby showers in orange county so it's quite a feat it's gonna take us an hour and a half to get there we're heading out as a family we're that's the longest drive that Cade will have been on thus far. So we're hoping that he's good. We're hoping that he timed it right so he'll be in a good mood. I'm big about getting people exactly what they want. So I got her exactly what she wanted on her registry. I didn't like mess around with it. There's only one thing that I had bought before. And I made like this little basket of things and we're entering the raffle. So we got some diapers. So it'll be really fun. We're gonna have a fun day just to celebrate them. We're so excited. It's actually almost noon now. <laughs> I have been doing things on the computer. We went to the baby shower. It was so nice. It was quite a drive. It took us like two hours to get home in traffic. Just the timing was like literally, it was a Saturday, but it, it was literally like rush hour. So we were heading back around like 5 p.m. and it was a nightmare, but we had so much fun. All of our friends met Cade. Some of our friends have, they came up to see him, but some of our friends are very pregnant, <laughs> you know? So this was the first time that we were able to like see so many of our friends all in one place. And it was so nice to celebrate our friends having a baby and stuff. So it was really fun. And then yesterday I, I went live on Instagram. If you guys missed it, it was very spontaneous. Romeo was at the Rose Bowl. It was just me, Cade and Kinsley at home. And I would, I'd spent all morning getting the candles live. So the holiday collection is available and holly specifically is very very low stock i don't even know if it will still be available when i'm saying this um well, i'm trying to get more it's not even thanksgiving yet we have, a, we have all the holidays left so i'm trying we'll see i'll keep you posted for sure so spent yesterday morning doing that and then i went live i need to do that more often i have so much fun when i do that because i can answer your questions in real time and i love when other people online that i follow go live so uh, I can do that 
more often. Doing it on a Sunday was like cozy. We sat in front of the fire. I posted it too on Instagram. So if you missed it, it's there. You can still, um, you know, watch it and stuff. Very spontaneous. And Cade was laughing. He was like off camera, um, but I was, you know, watching him obviously. And he was laughing as soon as I pressed record or like live, but he was laughing. It was those baby giggles get me every time. He's so precious. So spent the morning today just getting caught up, kind of picking up the house. Our faucet was acting weird. Well, I think I fixed it, but I did send an inquiry about it. Um, this part here came off, which it's supposed to come off. It's a filter that you can actually clean, um, but it came off and then this started leaking here. It was a whole situation, so I used some plumber's tape and that seemed to have helped the leaking because it was starting to leak from like the seams here. So I thought it was like an internal issue with the faucet. So I reached out to Kohler to see, but I think the a plumber's tape fixed the pressure issue and the leak issue. So we're not experiencing any more leaking. So I may have fixed the problem and it's not a big deal, but <sighs> so disappointed. I was like, well, we've only had this faucet for like, I ordered it in May, but they didn't install it until what, August? August, September, October, number three months? No, not for what I paid for this faucet. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but I still want to hear back from them if it's, it's a, a faucet issue because they have a warranty. And now I'm going to film a little bit, um, just a couple of videos because I want to show you guys how I remove the wax from the vessel because I have quite a few vessels now <laughs> that I've collected. Obviously it's my candles. So I have, I, I burn them all over the house and you stop burning them when they get closer to the bottom. You know, like we recommend like half an inch or so. I kind of go a little more than that, but you don't want to start a fire, you know? So you got to be cautious, but I have quite a few and I want to show you how I get the rest of the wax out and then repurpose them because I have a lot of ideas. So I'm going to film that really quickly. And then we're going to take out all of the Christmas decorations because I've been taking it out like piece by piece or box by box, trying to like find the things that I wanted and full send Christmas because I'm still waiting on the rug for the patio. So I'm kind of like starting other projects and doing other things while I'm waiting to finish that makeover. Okay, I did that. And now it is already getting dark. It's like 3.30. Is it 3.30? It's four. <laughs> it's four. That took me a little longer and then I was with baby. So I struggle some days to just find the time. You know, I'm still in that phase of like trying to juggle mom life and, and, and work life. It's, it's hard. It's, every day is is not the same. I'm actually heating up more water to do more because I have six more vessels that I have that I've been needing to do it too. Clean them all, have them all, and then um, repurpose them. I have some ideas that I'd love to go to the thrift store actually. I got this water way too hot. <laughs> Should only be like 130, 140 degree. I'll see if the thrift store is still open today. If not, I'll go another day, but I want to get a few things because I have some repurposing ideas that I'd like to try. You know what, watch mama open a box. Okay, I got this box. This is from Rifle Paper Co. Um, I actually picked some things. This, this, is a, this is a gift. They let me pick some things from their like holiday collection. I think they gave me a code or I have a code. I'll put it on the screen if I do so you guys can get a discount. Look at this blanket for holiday. How cute. Had a couple of different patterns. Super soft fleece. I got a nutcracker puzzle. I wanted like a puzzle during the holidays. You put on the coffee table so that people can do the puzzle. Or we can do it, you know, not even people, just like us. That's the puzzle, I'm assuming. It'll look like this. Shopping list with all the Christmas decorations from them. It's a, it's a magnet. We don't have anything magnetic though. I have removed all of the, the magnetic stuff, <laughs> but we just keep it in a drawer. Some gift bags. I thought this print that they had was so adorable. They had a couple of different ones, but I loved this like snowy penguin snowman cabin vibe. And I also got some washi tape, paper tape, I called it washi tape, but paper tape for the tissue paper when we wrap gifts and a serving platter. I know I'm obsessed with having enough serving platters for holiday. Like I didn't have enough, so I went on a mission to find me enough. Oh, that's so pretty and that beautiful. I love more festive stuff like this at, you know, like the holiday time. So I'm gonna make some dinner before I pull out the Christmas decorations in the dark now. While I cook dinner, I'm making like a little charcuterie board because like I'm really hungry. A little mini one for, for us. Thank you. 
car first? Yeah, you can and I can back out. Okay. So fully did not bring out Christmas yesterday. <laughs> it was dark. I was like, it feels late and it's only five. It was, it was too much. So we're actually gonna move our cars out, take out the Christmas and actually wanna bring it inside and then we can separate. I need, you know, part of the process is just seeing what you have because everything is back here in the corner. We packed it away really good last year. So it's kind of hard to get to. And I've been pulling out boxes slowly because I'm like, oh, I need a few things. I wanted to, wanted to do that little thing or take that little photo and I needed stuff. So move the cars out so we can actually like get to it. Also, something I forgot to do was turn those lights white again. Oh yeah. They're still orange. It still looks like we have lights that shoot up on the trees and the grass and stuff so that it makes it look, you know, either brighter or more spooky. And um, they're all still orange. Sorry. Those are two different colors. So everything here, huh? Yeah, the outside lights will leave. So like anything in the red is all, these are all of our outside lights. We like twirled them up into containers so that they were super organized last year. So they'll be easier to put on the trees this year than they were last year, for sure. Our glasses. Yes. So yeah. How did we get these so clean last year? The Christmas lights? Did you wipe them all down? I think, yeah, this one's not even open. We didn't, we didn't even put that one out. Yeah, I thought we opened it, we it. just did it. I didn't put them out last year. This one? I got so tired last year because I was pregnant and I was really nauseous. And I bought two of them to go in the pots at the front door. I don't even know if I put them out. Oh, that one's open, but this one's not. I think you only opened one. <laughs> That shows you how exhausted and fatigued I was. Like it took everything in me just to do what I did for Blogmas. And like anything that I didn't have to do, like it was enough Christmas. Like that's how I felt because I was so exhausted. Oh, look here. I remember him. I told you Rudy. I'd be back for you. Rudy? I don't remember. No, I'll call him Ralph. This is all inside? Yeah, this is all inside. Let's go this way. Bring it all inside and I can kind of separate it out. You know, just kind of figure out what I've got. Because I forgot about Rudy, 100%. We got it at the tree farm. Romeo really liked it. Okay, that was all of our indoor stuff. I don't have a ton. I was gonna show Kate this. I was so sad last year. The first thing that we put into the garage, like in all of the cabinets, uh, was this thing. I came over here and we closed on the house in like early November and it came over here and we weren't decorating for Christmas here in California. So I put this on the shelf, like, oh, this will be so good because I wanted it. kind of like an advent calendar, like little thing. And then when we decorated last year, I forgot about it. When we were putting Christmas away, I found it. And I was like, oh, I'm so sad. I can't believe I didn't put that out. Turns on, you wanna hear the music? <laughs> you gotta wind it like this. If mama still has batteries in it, I don't know. No, no batteries, so the lights won't come on, but let's see. It's a music box. <laughs> Can you imagine experiencing Christmas for the first time? <laughs> That must be so magical. Can you imagine experiencing Christmas for the first time ever? Oh, I'd be, I'd be so hyped. I'd be so excited. And then like, as he gets older, I could fold up little papers with like things that we could do. You know, obviously make her ornament, um, decorate the tree, bake gingerbread cookies, and we could put them in each number and it could be random and then he can open it in the morning and we could do it. I love it. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? Anyways, I got really sad that I didn't put it out last year. So this year it's getting, you know, a front and center situation display. Let's see what's in these boxes. I'm gonna kind of group them. I know I've collected more village houses this year for my village. I wanna put it in a different spot too. Do it like up in a big way. I have new ornaments that I used last year and I wanna add to those and make it a little bit different this year. Oh, by the way, now I'm rambling. Have you guys seen people do the bow tree? Like the big, huge bow that comes down? It's like, I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. 
I, I do like it in theory and I think it's beautiful. I think it's very feminine for some reason. Like I feel like it's like such a girl's girl tree. Like if I, if I put a big bow and that's it on the tree, Romeo would be like, are you okay? But I think it's pretty and people are doing it so well, but it's, it's very like aesthetic, like Pinterest photo kind of vibes. I saw a couple of those pop up on my For You page last night and I was like, oh, that, I like it, but I, I wouldn't do it in the same way. You know, I, I, I like things. <laughs> I like putting things on the tree and our tree's bigger this year. So I'm hoping that I have enough to like fulfill the, the vision. I'm not sure. If if not, I just want to make some things uh, to put on there and fill in, you know? Okay, so I know I have lots of stockings because we do a stocking for every person. Last year, I had him going up the stairs. We get to make a new one for Cade, but I'm going to like stitch his, like stitch his name onto a really pretty stocking so that it could be his and every year and so we have stockings like this little name things that i made last year so i made those we've got all those i need to see this type of stuff like my decorating things the wreath holder trees wax trees put ribbon on the tree last year so this is like my decorating stuff that i needed to pull out i got some really pretty ornaments at an estate sale last year got some tree garland so much kinsley are you so excited because you're already digging a pumpkin. I really need to separate out my different holidays because I know I have pumpkin mugs too that are mixed into this stuff that I didn't use this year and now we're in Christmas mode. This was something I tried last year that I want to retry this year in a different way. I tried to put pearls on the tree and it didn't work. Something about the coloring was off or and it called too much attention and I wanted it to be an accent and it was too, too much. But I wanna try and use it. I ordered these already. I wanna try and use these for something this year. I got these last year, right after we found out I was gonna have the baby. And these were always meant to be on his tree. Totally forgot about them. Fun and like youthful, I'd say. 12 days of Christmas ornaments and they're vintage. I mean, I don't quite know when they're from. I mean, there's nothing on them. I'll have to kind of look them up and see, but how cute. It's like this on the second day of Christmas, two turtle doves. Isn't that adorable? And like, look, Lord's a leaping. Oh, I thought it was gonna be so... We already knew that I was pregnant, but I hadn't announced it yet. So when I bought these, I don't think I shared them. Or I did, and maybe I said that they were for Robbie, my nephew, but they weren't. <laughs> This is all berries and twigs. I'm like gonna be for like the mantles and the staircase. Yeah. Are all trees, which I've been picking from. Trees and more greens and like wreaths. And then snow for my village and the village houses. And I have more. My mom found me three at an estate sale. I brought back from Texas. I found three or four at estate sales here so that I could keep building on the village. And I wanna take a really good picture of them this year so that next year, if I add to them, I don't duplicate the buildings. You know, like if I already have a bakery and a school and you know, all the, the post office, I wanna make sure I know what I have got so that I don't read some, cause I just forget what I've, what I've got. So this is all village stuff. Tree skirts, pillows. Oh, Rudy! This was Rudy. I found this in an estate sale and loved it. He's looking at it like, what? Do you love that? I'm like, where are the ornaments? I have a separate ornament box. Hold on. <sighs> Even in my nausea days last year, I knew my future self would thank me. Would thank me for doing this. I have never done this before and I've always seen people organize their ornaments. I even have like more organization stuff to do them with, but it's like layers of organizing. No, oh my God. Kinsley, this is your favorite time of year. Look at all this. Everything is organized down there. So these are all of my ornaments and the ribbon that I use and the star for the top. Future self is so gonna thank me. No, no, not yet. You can't knock them off. No, no, Kinsley! Kinsley, let me have it. Kinsley, look at her. Let me have it. Let me have it. Kinsley, <laughs> no! <laughs> no balls. Okay, that's actually a huge step in the right direction. Now I have it all in here and kind of grouped. 
not all unpacked. I don't want to make a mess, but I've got it all grouped from for like what the things are. And I try and be really intentional every year with packing away my decor. Last year was extreme. I've never been quite that detailed with like organizing, but I think it's going to help because it was a, I'm able to put it in different spots in the house and see if there's anything I'm missing or see if we're, any, we're going to make things this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and hanging out with me for a few days. Got a busy week ahead decorating for the holidays um, and I have another little mini project that I'm going to work on uh, which is going to be fun and you'll see it here on the vlog and planning all of the smaller DIY projects I want to do for the holidays with the baby. Uh, so it's just such a happy time of year. We we love Christmas. He's going to grow up loving holidays, man. I will see you guys very soon for another vlog and a makeover video and decorating for Christmas very soon. I'm chipping away at it. Sometimes I look at his face and I just want to spend all my time with him. We got to decorate too. It's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>